What's up? This is Dad Sick. I'm in Denver. You're tuning in to Groovy TV. <laughs> Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Dad Sick here in Denver, Colorado. How are you, sir? Very good. Right on. Last night was crushing, man. Was the whole tour been like this? Yeah, I mean, it's it's been crazy. The last uh, six months has just been insane, so really fun, dude. Yeah. It's, been, it's actually been fun to watch your career like just totally develop and grow and get badass you know, day by day, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, you know, just doing what I love, so I'm lucky to be here. <laughs> so we did actually did an interview about a year and a half ago and stuff and you were, you were sort of like telling me how there's different types of dubstep you know the hip-hop and you can even go metal with it and stuff like that like what are your approaches to the different genres of dubstep um well i'm i'm really feeling the kind of uh the kind of older sounding stuff like the 2008 2009 vibe that's kind of wh where i'm going with it except like like revamped i guess and uh I'm also really feeling like the deeper stuff too. Um, I think, you know, dubstep has evolved to a point where kids don't want to just hear noisy, squelchy, squelchy shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> they want to hear like something a bit, a bit crazier and, uh, or a bit, bit, not crazier, but different, right? So mm -hmm. I think uh, with that, you know, um, the EDM scene was blessed with, with uh, trap and uh, trap has kind of reintroduced the minimal element back into dubstep. So it's, it's cool to see, uh, to see where it's going right now. And I think, you know, it's healthy that uh, change is happening, so. Right on, right on. How are you gonna incorporate the change for your future releases? Um, I'm really just like, I'm, I'm trying to take more like, just get, go further and further down like the hip hop road and, and, you know, I'm sampling again, like sampling like old vinyls and stuff and trying to get cool samples to like, kind of make it, make it like a hip hop dubstep kind of fusion thing mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it's it's cool. It's it's I'm coming up with some really interesting ideas, so it's it's cool. It's definitely fun and bringing it back to the roots, you know. Nice, and you're having more fun with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Now, tour-wise, like, what's going on with this tour and then the next? Uh, well, we got the two uh, two shows here in Denver, um, and then I, I go back uh, home to LA for two days, and then uh, off to Canada actually, and uh, I got like a, a week long in Canada, and then. I fly straight back down to EDC Vegas and play the same night, mm -hmm. so it should be interesting. Uh, and yeah, I'm just stoked, man. It's crazy, you know. A lot of traveling. Uh, I've been going going to uh, Europe a lot more now. So nice. the last I've been to Europe twice in the last month, and uh, yeah, it's like it's crazy, man. It never stops. Yeah, you're nonstop these days, dude. It's very impressive. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no, uh, release wise, what do you got? What do you got in the works? Um, I'm working on the second uh, the second part of the Cold Blooded. E EP, I guess. Uh, oh. The second one's gonna be called uh, Hot Tempered, I think, and uh, it's that's gonna be part two. So Cold Blood is part one, and then I'm working on part two, and I think it's gonna be like another six or seven tracks. And uh, you know, I got a couple of interesting collabs. I'm doing one with uh, uh, DJ Paul from Three Six Mafia, nice. and then I got I'm also doing this other thing uh, with Lincoln Park as well. Okay. So that should be kind of interesting to see what comes of it. Transformers Four. <laughs> yeah, who knows it's you know it, it's been interesting trying to find like a balance between uh you know keeping it original and still having it accessible for their fans so right. you know um that's yeah it's it's cool it's, it's really badass yeah very it's very interesting times for sure right on now um what else you got coming up 2013 that uh we can pimp out to everybody uh, i got a big tour coming up in the fall uh doing another bus tour so I'm really excited. Uh, I think it's going to be September, October, November-ish. Uh -huh. And then we're going to continue that in January, February. Uh, and yeah, so basically souping up the production. Uh, working, we're going to expand on the Vortex, make it crazier, uh, bigger and badder. And uh, and it's insane now. Yeah, it's it's going to look way crazier as well. Like it's, it, that was like the first step. It's like the next, the next, version is going to look insane so i'm really stoked is there gonna be any limit to the stage show at some point uh <laughs> like evil can evil on fire i don't know it's like it never ends because like when you start setting the bar you know start when you go into cities and you set the bar with this kind of production it's like you either have to do something bigger or completely different or you know so it's it's tricky it's it's very 
it's a delicate situation and it ends up costing a lot of money but <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> yeah so whatever <laughs> right on but yeah last night was freaking amazing so i can't even imagine where you're going off you know next it's yeah dude last night was fucking awesome <laughs> oh, yeah, i probably shouldn't be swinging no, you can say whatever you want okay cool yeah it was it was great denver was sick <laughs> <laughs> all right man so unfortunately there's a question we ask everyone coming through town are you ready sir yes okay your entire touring history all over the world is the worst thing you've ever eaten on the road oh god i can you know what's funny is i can actually pinpoint the exact moment uh <laughs> i was with i was with my manager uh sad and we we're, we're in uh we we're in the uk and um we we're actually in bristol and it was literally like five in the morning and uh we were so hungry and there was nothing open except this dodgy little chicken joint and it was called licking chicken <laughs> and it was like it was like uh, it was like it was like kfc on a bad day it was just like it was terrible and like literally i had a hangover from it for like two days <laughs> it was bad you were actually poisoned by this yeah, chicken the fact that i can remember that moment just you know obviously says something i actually love that moment when you know the person goes oh yeah this is the worst <laughs> thing i've ever experienced yeah that was definitely it for sure right on man thank you so much for your time yeah, cheers man right on hey this is groovy i'm your dad sick we're in denver colorado right on bye bye